Starting in the middle of the mat, transfer the weight onto the right foot. Turn out the left hip and bring the foot towards the ankle, calf or the inner thigh. Coming into your tree pose here, bring the hands towards the heart in a prayer. You can create a slight resistance with the left knee, pushing against it with the left hand, making sure the hips are squared to the front. Take a few breaths here and then bring the knee in and release the leg. Shake the legs out and then transfer the weight onto the left foot, turning out the right knee, opening up the hip, bringing the foot to the ankle, calf or inner thigh, making sure the hips are squared to the front and bringing the hands towards the heart. We can create a slight resistance here with the right hand on the right knee or the hands can come to the heart and then release the foot down and shake out the legs and then turning up towards the front of the mat release the body down as you exhale all the way towards the mat and then step the feet back into your downward dog sweeping the right leg up towards the sky and then drawing in the knee towards the chest and then gently stepping the foot between the hands circling the arms round squaring the hips to the side and straightening out the front leg sending the left hip backwards and the right arm extends forwards reaching and then circling round into your rotated triangle pose looking up towards the fingertips take a breath here making sure the chest is extended out towards the ceiling then circling the arms back to your triangle pose and rotating the arms back down into your lunge, stepping the right foot back into downward dog. Then sweeping the left leg up towards the sky, drawing the knee towards the chest and stepping the foot through the hands. Circling the arms around, coming into your triangle, so extending the left leg straight, making sure the back foot is at 45 degree angle. Then you wanna send the right hip back, the left arm reaches forward, and then the arms circle round, coming into your rotated triangle. The gaze looking up towards the fingertips, opening up the chest. Then circle the arms round and coming back into your high lunge and stepping back into downward dog. Sweeping the left leg up again towards the sky, this time leaving it up in the sky and bending the knee, sending the foot towards the bum and then rotating the knee round in giant circles, opening up the hip, taking it one way and then in the opposite direction. Drawing in the knee towards the chest, shifting the weight forward and then rotating and sending the left foot under the right, coming into a staggered side plank. Hold here and then release the hand back down and send the left leg back up towards the sky. Hold here in a three-legged dog. Don't mind my puppy, just dibbling my head. Take a breath here and then draw the knee in towards the chest and step the foot forward into your lunge. Bring the right hand towards the ground and the left arm stretches up towards the sky. Dropping the back knee and opening up the left hip by pushing on the left knee with the left hand. If you want to, there's an option to grab the right foot with the left hand, opening up the chest. Dropping the hands back towards the ground, sweeping the arms up into a lunge. And then bringing the back foot off the ground, and you can grab for that back foot if you can, if you can't reach, that's fine. And then pulling with the foot, opening up the chest here. Dropping the hands towards the ground, bringing the left foot to join the right in your downward dog. On the other side, sweeping up the right leg and then bending the knee and rotating in giant circles, opening up the hip here. And then take it in the other direction making sure the circles are nice and big to open up the hip. Draw the knee in towards the chest and step the foot under the body, rotating the hips round and looking up towards the sky. 
sending the hands back down, the foot comes up towards the sky and then draw the knee in towards the chest, stepping the foot forward, dropping down the back left knee. Bringing the left hand down to the mat, the right arm extends up and then dropping the back knee down, pushing against the right knee with the right hand or the hand can grab for the left foot at the back, opening up the chest. And then coming up, sweeping the arms up towards the sky in your lunge and then bringing the back foot off the ground, coming up on the knee. The hands can reach for the back foot to open up Lean the chest forward into the lunge. Then release the hands down and bring the right foot to join the left in your downward dog. Dropping the knees towards the mat and extending back up, taking a few breaths here. You can sit in child's pose or you can just sit up on the back of the ankles to take a breath and wiggle it out. If you're coming into child's pose, you want to sit back on the ankles and extend the arms forward, stretching out the chest. Coming back onto all fours and then tucking the toes, coming into downward dog. Extending the right leg up towards the sky, drawing in the knee towards the chest and then dropping the right shin down towards the ground. We're coming into our pigeon pose here, which we've done before, making sure the hips are nice and squared towards the ground. If you want to feel the stretch more, you want to bring the foot further away from the hips at more of a right angle. If it's more of a challenge, you want to bring the foot closer towards the hips. Um, if it feels uncomfortable at all, you can put a cushion underneath the bum, which um, elevates the hips and allows you to square them more towards the mat. When you're in a comfortable position, you want to extend the chest forward and walk the hands down away from the body. You can bring the head towards the mat if this feels comfortable and take a few breaths here, really opening up the hips here. And then when you're ready, walking up the hands towards the body, opening up the chest. Take a breath here and then drop the hands towards the mat, tucking the back toe, bringing the right foot to join the left in your downward dog. And then sweeping the left leg up towards the sky, drawing the knee in towards the chest and then dropping the left shin towards the mat. Squaring off the hips here towards the mat and then remembering if you want to put a cushion underneath the bum that's completely fine, whatever feels best for your body. Take a breath here and then extend the chest forward, walking the hands away from the body towards the front of the mat, resting the head on the hands on the mat here. Take a few breaths, really feel the stretch in the hip and then walk the hands back up towards the body Press with the hands, tucking the back toe, coming into your downward dog. And then dropping the knees towards the mat, extending the bum back onto the heels, coming into your extended child's pose. And then coming up into downward dog and then drawing the right knee in towards the chest, stepping the foot forward between the hands and then turning to the side, coming into a wide leg forward fold. Then walking the hands over towards the right leg, the right hands grab towards the right ankle and bringing the belly and the chest towards the thigh. Take a breath here and then walk the hands over towards the left hand side, grabbing for the left ankle, bringing the belly and chest towards the thigh. And then walking the hands back to center and heel toeing the feet in slightly and then dropping the bum down coming into your low yogi squat. So the hips want to be turned out, the feet turned out, the elbows want to be uh, putting pressure on the inner thigh or the inner knee, opening the chest here, bringing the hands toward into prayer, making sure the bum is down, the chest up. And then dropping the bum towards the mat, bringing the soles of the feet together coming into our butterfly pose. So sending the hips outwards, you can apply pressure to the inner thigh or calf here, 
to push the legs down and then bringing the chest over and walking the hands forward really feeling a stretch in the hips here take a few breaths deep inhale deep exhale and then walk the hands back up towards the center bringing the knees together and then rolling the body down so the back the back is flat on the mat with the knees drawn in. Soles of the feet on the ground. And then the right ankle comes over the left knee, opening up the right hip here, applying pressure to the knee with the right hand, pushing the knee away. And then interlacing the fingers, grabbing behind the left thigh, drawing in the knee towards the chest, applying pressure with the hands on the thigh. and then releasing both legs and shaking them out. And then bringing the left ankle over the right knee, opening up the left hip by pushing the knee with the hand, the left hand, and then interlacing the hands behind the right thigh, drawing in the thigh towards the chest, opening up the hip more here. Take a breath and then release the legs center and bringing the legs up in the sky grabbing the outside of the left foot with the left hand and the outside of the right foot with the right hand and then pulling down on on the feet with the hands drawing the knees towards the ground rocking gently from side to side this is a happy baby pose take a few more rocks and then let the legs release together and down. Bringing the soles of the feet together and towards the ground and then opening up the hips here, lying with your back flat, palms up towards the sky and take a deep relaxation. Take a nice few breaths here as you inhale and exhale as you come to the end of the practice.